Hello friends, in this video I am going to genetics of host plant disease resistance. I will cover terminologies, disease and importance of host plant resistance, scientific contribution, types of genetic resistance, host pathogen interaction, R gene applications in plant breeding, resistant breeding and conclusion. First one terminology related to genetics of host plant disease resistance, elicitor. These are the signaling molecules. Effector molecules are the typical proteins that are deliver, delivered outside the microbe. Pathotype. These are the population of a parasite species in which all individuals have a pathogenicity or parasitic ability in common. Biotype. The progeny developed by variant having similar heredity. That means the variants having similar heredity groups are called biotypes. PRR. These are pathogen recognition receptors. PAMP or DAMP means pathogen associated molecular patterns or disease associated molecular patterns. PTI that is PAMP triggered immunity. ETI effector triggered immunity nlr nucleotide binding leucine rich region mapk mitogen activated protein kinase coming to different pathogens causing diseases the major contribution to the disease are from fungi followed by bacteria molecules parasites of uh, higher plants virus and nematodes Coming to the introduction to host plant disease resistance, whenever we talk about host plant disease resistance, three scientists contribution is important. One is Biffin, then H.F. HF Floor and Van der Plank. Coming to Biffin's contribution, in 1901, he demonstrated genetic basis of disease resistance in wheat rust. He obtained 3 is to 1 Mendelian ratio by crossing rivet into red king wheat. The major contribution of Biffin is he proved the Mendelian ratio or Mendelian genetics in diseases. The, he also concluded that resistance is heritable. Resistance and susceptibility are independent of other plant characters. Coming to H.H. H. Floor. In 1952, he concluded genetic factors of both plant and pathogen are required for the successful defense response in plants. The, there are two rules which support uh, the Fleur's hypothesis that is Wheeler's Rule 1 and Wheeler's Rule 2. Remember Wheeler is a separate scientist who supported the Fleur's conclusions or Fleur's hypothesis. Wheeler's first rule talks about incompatible reaction that is found in biotropes. According to this first rule, AVR are recognize each other and their specificity and interaction gives resistance to host. I repeat, AVR and R, AVR means avirulent genes which are present in the pathogens and R genes which are present in plant, they both recognize each other and their specificity and interaction will give resistance to host. The second rule talks about compatible reaction. In this, AVR and R produce a specific compound. Remember here, in the second rule, R is small that means it is in recessive condition. These produce specific compounds which interact each other and produce susceptible response. This is mainly found in necrotrophic fungi. This is the rule how uh, it is explained. This is incompatible reaction which is found in biotropes and here it is shown clearly when the AVR dominant gene and R that is also a dominant gene when these both are present in pathogen and host means R in host and AVR capital or dominant form in mm, pathogen that means they both recognize each other and their interaction will give the resistant response in biotropes and rest of the reactions like uh, capital R and small AVR 
and the rest of the interaction they will give the susceptible response according to the second rule that is compatibility here the avr and r means whenever whatever is in one form of capital letter or uh, in dominant condition that will give resistant response and when the one is in r1 is in susceptible or r1 is in uh, recessive form means susceptibility will be found this is the reaction of floor's hypothesis he worked with melamsera lini rust uh, rust that is flax rust here he found infected and one plant is infected and the other showed hypersensitive response in this uh, picture you can clearly see the hypersensitive response plant is giving a crinkle or shriveled kind of leaf appearance that means it has given the hypersensitive response may be through programmed cell death or any other mechanism here resistance is due to hypersensitive response the flex then susceptible and resistant plants can be crossed to determine the inheritance pattern of resistance results from floors crosses 25 resistant alleles distributed across five loci were identified the alleles were k1 the five loci of alleles are k1 l11 m6 n3 and p4 he found that for every resistant allele found in plant a corresponding virulent allele was found in the pathogen this is the floors exact hypothesis there is a gene for gene interaction between host and parasite l and m loci cloned and sequenced in 1995 that means floor concluded or postulated his hypothesis from 1946 to 1956 and he gave the hypothesis in 1952 but the genes which he found l and m these loci were cloned and sequenced in order to conclude or in order to prove it during 1995 13 different alleles were characterized at l locus gave important insights into functions of r gene this is uh, the contrasting complexity of two rust resistant loci in flax this was the paper uh, which was published in 1995 uh, the what in the previous slide i talked about the two genes which were cloned and sequenced the next hypothesis is plaf wander planck's hypothesis he gave the horizontal and vertical resistant co concept where horizontal resistance are the the traits which are governed by minor genes and vertical with major genes here there are clear cut differentiation between the two resistant mechanism i will just uh, give a list for your benefit first one pathotype specificity in vertical resistance it is rate specific but horizontal is now rate non specific nature of gene action in vertical resistant it is uh, controlled by oligo genes and uh, horizontal resistance is controlled by polygenes or rarely oligo genes the response to pathogen in vertical resistance is hypersensitive response but in horizontal it is resistant response phenotypic expression of vertical resistance is qualitative and horizontal is quantitative stage of expression in vertical it is seedling to maturity in horizontal expression increase at plant maturity or at adult stage selection and evaluation of vertical resistance is easy but in horizontal it is quite difficult the risk of boom and burst in vertical it is present it uh, vertical resistance is found du rarely durable whereas horizontal resistance is itself called as durable resistance suitable for host and pathogen mm, in vertical resistance annuals but not perennials immobile pathogen example soil pathogens but for mobile airborne pathogens in horizontal resistance both annuals and perennials all pathogens 
show the same response need for specific development of resistant varieties in vertical resistance critical for success with mobile pathogen and in horizontal it is none need for other control measures in re vertical resistance it is uh, more required but in horizontal it is much less likely host pathogen interaction in uh, vertical resistance is present but in horizontal it is absent efficiency of vertical resistance is high efficient against specific races and in horizontal it is variable but operates against all races when many of the vertical resistant genes compile that will give a successful horizontal resi horizontal resistance mechanism and this will be a favorable or good resistance mechanism in nature coming to specific r gene about the boom and burst cycle proposed by priestley in 1970 according to boom and burst cycle this cycle talks about the vertical resistant mechanism means the undesirable effect of vertical resistant mechanism whenever a new uh, host or a new variety is developed by incorporation of a single gene it will be accepted by majority of the farmers because of its resistance mechanism but when that particular gene will be overcome by the susceptibility or with some pathogen new races it will become a burst year that means 8 to 12 year cycle for single plant pathogen control will lead to susceptibility and disease control fails this lead to use of specific r gene will decrease that is nothing but the peak utility of that particular r gene during its resistant response is boom year and when it develop the susceptibility against that particular disease will be the burst year coming to types of genetic resistance there are two type of resistance one is qualitative and quantitative when host and pathogen interacts the extent of visible host damage will be found then qualitative and quantitative means in qualitative resistant disease reaction type is immune hypersensitive response resistance moderate resistance susceptibility and hypersensitive response or and highly resistant but in quantitative the rating scale will be given like 0 to 100 where in this scale the disease will be quantified or there may be 1 to 5 or 1 to 9 disease scale the qualitative resistance here distinct classes of resistance and susceptible plants can be made controlled by one or few genes also called vertical resistance the quantitative resistance is continuous variation among the genotypes controlled by many loci and also called horizontal resistance coming to genetic resistance the mechanism of resistance are disease escape disease endurance and true resistance classification is based on number of genes biotype reaction population or line concept evolutionary concept and specificity there are two kind of defense mechanism in uh, nature passive defense and active defense the passive defense is uh, again divided into two types this is physical barrier and chemical barrier in passive defense and physical barrier wax cuticular layer cell wall stomata and lenticels are classified or grouped in physical barrier whereas chemical barriers like nutrient deprivation ph phytoanticipants and plant defenses in active uh, defenses there are two category rapid and delayed the rapid defense mechanisms are membrane function oxidative burst cell wall reinforcement hypersensitive cell death then phytoalexin accumulation the delayed response include pr protein that is pathogenesis related protein or uh, sar that is systemic acquired resistance and pathogen containment or pathogen containment the three kind of uh, host pathogen interactions are 
the first step is perception then signaling and response coming to perception perception of eliciter signals or receptors for eliciter signal in plant cell membrane in this salicylic acid jasmonic acid and ethylene are active participators protein kinase as receptor site LRR type receptors, lactins as receptors and resistant genes product as receptors. In the eliciter receptor model, eliciters are produced in the uh, hosts, uh, eliciters are produced in the pathogens and these will send the signals in receptors that are found in the host system. Here in this picture, biotrophic pathogen will give uh, salicylic acid with the help of NAHG gene, resistant mechanism can be found. Then in necrotrophic pathogen, jasmonic acid and ethylene are the uh, eliciter signals and that will lead to resistant response. The next step is perception. In perception, it means how pathogen and host recognize each other. The gene for gene hypothesis between host and pathogen for triggering race specific reception resistance. Here in the eliciter receptor model, the a whenever the eliciter and receptor will interact and they recognize each other, this is just like a lock and key model of enzyme interaction. In this, when eliciter and receptor will interact and they recognize each other, that will give the resistant mechanism. But when they both can't recognize each other, that may lead to susceptibility response. This is uh, according to the Wheeler's rule 1 found in biotropes. In case of interaction involving R gene and AVR gene incompatibility reaction, here when the pathogen and resistant or host uh, recognize each other whenever there is some of the resistant or some of the dominant genes are recognizing each other it will lead to incompatible reaction and when the genes are not matching not matching means like here it is dominant avr is dominant but in the second case r1 that is small one so that we won't recognize each other and it will give compatible reaction and cause the disease but in case of incompatible reaction they both can't recognize each other and that will lead to resistance response in uh, the perception only there are secondary messengers that lead to signaling mechanism the, these are the molecules that relay signals from receptors on the cell surface to target molecules Earl Wellberg Sutherland discovered secondary, messenger, secondary messengers and won 1971 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine and Medicine. The functions of secondary messengers are the greater amplify strength of the signal, component of signal transduction cascade, secondary messengers like calcium ion, anion channels in signal transduction phosphorylation and phospholipid signaling system then mitogen activated pathogen kinase signaling cascade here defense activation by nblrr complex in this there is association and activation import and export signals from the cell system or cytoplasm into the nucleus will recognize specific factors or specific uh, signaling molecules like uh, Wirke genes or TIP49A that will lead to defense related expression when the import of activation or recognition will happen. But when the recognition won't happen, there won't be defense related expression in the nucleus. So when defense related expression is absent, that means susceptibility signal will be passed to the cytoplasm. Coming to the role of mitogen activated protein kinase cascade. This is a most important signal pathway in case of 
fungi here there are two things one is uh, fungal cell and one is plant cell the above one is fungal cell and the second one is plant cell in the fungal cell nuclear membrane is bound and from the nuclear pores the mapk different kind of napk pathways are passed to cytoplasm of the pathogen those will produce the signal molecule and that will pass to the cytoplasmic membrane and from there it will pass the signals to the host surface here stress perception receptor host sensing receptors will be produced and those will be recognized by the phytoalexins defensins cell wall degrading enzymes from the plant then chitin fragments perception of microbial signals fungal mapks are recognized and immediately they will be destroyed if the defense response is strong in the fungus or else those mapk signals are sent directly to the pathogen uh, uh, plant system nucleus and when they won't be recognized they will establish themselves and cause the susceptibility in plant coming to the third one third uh, activity that is response in response there will be two things either resistance or susceptibility this is a differential response of plant to pathogen there are certain uh, secondary molecules or primary molecules like jasmonic acid ethylene salicylic acid phytoalexins all those things will be activating in the biotopes or plant system when these are working against the pathogen immune system that means that will destroy the pathogen or else when this the signaling pathway is very poor in case of patho host system means the pathogen signaling uh, molecules as well as toxin substances will damage the host system and that will cause the death of the host cells but in case of hypersensitive response in the host there are gene mediated resistance will be found r proteins will be activated and that will give signals to mapk uh, activation that gives map kkk from there from the effectors mapk and the virki genes in the nucleus will be activated from their flux of reactive oxygen species will be given to the plant system or hormonal signaling will be activated and that will give the immune response by the mechanism of hypersensitive hypersensitive response in the host system coming to the mechanisms of plant defense there are mechanisms like hypersensitive response production of reactive oxygen species production of antimicrobial metabolites defense signal transduction and synthesis of enzymes like chitinase gluconase etc the role of reactive oxygen species in the pathogen elicitors elicitors will be found and that will activate the mamps that the chloroplasts peroxisomes mitochondria whenever the pathogen will signal or elicitors will be found on the surface of plant system which passes the signal like mamps that will lead to the activation of signals in chloroplast peroxisomes and mitochondria in plant system that will generate nadph oxidase peroxidase and scavenging system from this reactive oxygen species will be generated and that will activate nitrate oxide and salicylic acid this will lead to the nitric oxide lead to cell death then reactive oxygen species also cause cell death cell wall strengthening defense gene activation and along with salicylic acid that will activates the systemic acquired resistance this is called induced defense response in the host system or plants coming to the signaling system in signaling system 
there are certain mechanisms like alkalization and cytoplasmic acidification reactive oxygen species nitric oxide in signal transduction salicylic acid signaling system jasmonic acid pathway ethylene depending uh, signaling pathway and fatty fatty acids as systemic signal molecules Coming to our genes, their application in plant plant breeding. There are eight groups of our genes. The major groups are LRR groups. The function of LRR group is protein protein interaction. Its major determinants of recognition specificity. The genes belonging to LRR group are beta CF four nine five. then uh, second group is major group is nbs that uh, the function is to bind atp or gtp this is uh, ha this has race specificity function of r genes example of gene is l6 then tir this has race specificity function of r gene and the example is l6 the other is coiled coiled domain that is cc domain this is involved in recognition of avr gene product example is rpw8 gene here we can see the eight functional uh, system or group of resistant genes the they are nbs lrr virki cc sd bed tm kin and all those groups the full forms of all these things are given in the footnote you can read that coming to sources of resistance sources are first one is primary gene pool that are utilized for other breeding programs then other things are land races germplasm collections wild relatives example in tomato lycopersicon genus other species and in uh, wheat agropyrin genus or agelops toshi titicum monococcum then mutant transformations example in powdery mildew of barley genetic analysis of race specific resistant genes here plant variety in this resistant in allelic series and gene clusters this is just a different kind of interaction in different plant varieties that is nothing but the picture shows race specificity that may be in plant the allele one and in one variety allele one will be interactive and that may cause the resistant response but in some other plant variety two and in uh, pathogen the another allele will interact and the interaction will be different this is a example like powdery mildew resistance of lr34 or yr18 genes for durable resistance to leaf and stipe rust co segregate at a locus on the short arm of chromosome 6d of wheat this is so shows how the gene combinations on specific low sai or uh, at a specific we can say at a specific region or bin location how the combination will lead to uh, resistant to different kinds of uh, response like it may be leaf rust or yellow rust or stem rust here molecular similarities among different resistant genes are shown identification of r genes two methods of identification one is map based identification and second is transposon tagging next step of map based isolation in the fifth step transform a susceptible genotype with a single cosmic clone and likewise the r or resistant or susceptible reactions can be generally found based on the presence of r gene which is shown in red color here in this types of problems encountered a longer walk than expected lack of recombination an unknown hole in the back clone and uh, the gene recognition was a major problem 
the second uh, work is the pib gene for rice blast resistant belongs to the nucleotide binding and leucine rich repeat class of plant disease resistance this is uh, another study where the specific location of a disease resistant gene responsible for blast is identified the next process is transposon tagging of r genes there were two processes how the r genes were recognized one was map based cloning and the second technique is transposon tagging the two component system of transposon tagging is ac transposon in tdna and ds transposon gene in the tdna by locating these two we can clearly identify the r gene if it is in between the two things ac activator and dissociator coming to uh, the transpo the transposon tagging with genetic selection in tobacco and genes and in tomato cf9 or avr9 genes in this at the specific temperature the at uh, in tmv if a specific temperature is given like 30 cel degree celsius means the expression will be found but if at the other temperature like 22 degree means the resistant or hypersensitive response will be found and by that transposon tagging or uh, the particular presence of a particular gene can be identified r gene expression the r gene expression is very low and constitutive occasionally low level induction following infection but only in the vicinity of the pathogen it is rarely expressed in resistant genotypes in rice xa27 that is a uh, gene of xanthomonas oryzae pathover oryzae susceptible alleles of 10 bp and 25 bp insertions in the promoters how do r proteins function examples are direct pathogen molecule recognition and indirect pathogen molecule recognition this is the direct recognition of tomato uh, ptvo and avr ptvo genes in case of pseudomonas syringae the susceptible response when they are in the so in the small or uh, resistant form here avr ptvo and uh, the two dominant gene affectors bind to unknown host target that will enhance the pathogen virulence that causes susceptible response in the second case that is resistant ptvo host when ptvo and prf both genes are together that will give less pathogen proliferation or that may cause the hypersensitive response when it will happen when avr ptvo and ptvo are in the dominant form and along with ptvo prf is also present when prf is absent with ptvo that will not give the resistant response coming to indirect re recognition found in arabidopsis that is rpm1 avr rpm1 this is diagrammatically shown here on the susceptible host in which rin4 when rin4 is not with rpm1 that means susceptibility in the host and when there is rpm1 present along with the ndr19 rin4 that leaves that gives the less pathogen proliferation and hypersensitive response here indirect recognition means the recognition is impaired or it is interventioned by rpm1 gene without rpm1 gene the hypersensitive response is not possible coming to r gene proteins guard the virulence target here virulence target will give susceptible response to favor the pathogen growth and development when resistance by guarding will give resistant response by activating the 
specific genes like RIN4, RPM1, etc. This is the mechanism how this works just like the uh, lock and key mechanism of enzyme. Coming to the approaches for host plant resistance in breeding, individual uh, sp breeding for specific resistance like uh, individual major gene, breeding for quantitative traits, breeding with multi lines, marker assisted backcrossing, and pyramiding. For resistant breeding, the uh, uh, breeding techniques used are introduction, selection, hybridization, backcrossing, induced mutagenesis, tissue culture and the modern technical techniques like transgenics and genome editing. Biotechnological approaches like marker assisted selection, tissue culture methods like somaclonal variation, somatic hybridization, then meristem tip culture for viral free planting materials. Here uh, there are some examples of molecular markers associated with resistant traits in crop plants. For example, in rice uh, for uh, pyricularia oryza that is blast pathogen, resistant genes are PI2, beta, PIS and all for xanthomonas oryzae, XA21, XA3, XA4, XA5, XA13. Then in uh, for uh, orciolia oryzae, GM2. GM40 in wheat for rust LR9 that is leaf rust LR24 for ericifer graminis that is powdery mildew PM1 PM2 PM3 for hassine fly H21 in maize for leaf blight RHM likewise in barley for stem rust RPG1 barley yellow mosaic YM4 in tomato for cladosporium fulvum CF2 bar CF5 Fusarium oxysporum I2. In uh, other crops, so so far you have seen the genetic basis of uh, host pathogen interaction. Whenever the pathogen system is uh, strong or when the AVR genes are not activated in the pathogen then only the host response if the R genes are strong that means the resistance can be expected or if the AVR R gene interaction will be found in the host pathogen system that will give the resistant response and this resistant response is not only give explained with the help of AVR R gene interaction but many primary and secondary metabolites uh, along with other plant components will be responsible for the activation of resistance thank you like this video and please subscribe my channel thank you